All right. I am Virgo Vine. And this is the Virgo Show. Yeah. How about my brother, my little big brother, my little big brother. Little big brother, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who you are, little big bro? Tell me your name. If they hey. don't. If they don't know me, you gotta know me now. This is Junior Biggs, uh, owner of Paradise Vibes. The best one punch you're ever gonna know, ever gonna taste. And I say, serial entrepreneur. So, like, little, you know, my ones and twos, you know, keeping it simple. All right, you got the pleasure of being my brother. I mean, hey, you so fortunate to be my brother. Hey, shoot, that's a blessing. A lot of lessons learned. My little big brother, but you still teaching me stuff. You teaching me stuff. I'm just trying hey. to do the podcast, and now you on the podcast, so I'm teaching you. You teaching me stuff. Hey, sure, you always gotta be learning. Always gotta be learning. So let me come teach the people, cause my people on my podcast, we be talking shit. Shit, yeah, I tell you this, a lot of a lot of lessons is learned from talking shit. We be talking a lot of information, a lot of gems in there in, in conversation. Oh, they ain't ready. Listen. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be epic. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had to put that out there because we might not be talking shit this time. We're gonna talk some business and some money and some stuff like that. That's what you like to talk about money. And I'm listening. I like to talk about everything. Everything is money. I'm listening. Every- everything is money. So how it's all how, related? How's the uh the rum punch business going. How many flavors you got? I got officially air. There is nine, but um, yeah, officially nine on the website paradisevibes.com. You know, yeah. um, especially nine, but you know, it's multiple flavors. Go ahead. Do you know all of the flavors? Yeah, name them. You got strawberry, you got pineapple, you got. Guava, you got mango, you got peach, you got passion fruit, you got ocean wave, you got colada splash, you got lucky lemon. Yeah, it's nice. Lucky lemon. What is what is lucky lemon? Is that like lemonade, like drunk ass lemonade? It's like a drunk ass lemonade with a hit. Like it's like it's something else in the lemonade. They be like, hmm, what is this? It's like a mystery, but it's not. It, it, it's a mystery, but nobody really uses it. But um, it that gives it like a little, it. gives a little. Oh. It sounds like something mm-hmm. you should mix. With the other ones, I should mix the lemon and the strawberry together. Yo, <laughs> you gave me a daggle idea. Shoot, I'm supposed to be starting my fast. You know, you about all, to have me crack two bottles and mix the two of them. Put them all together except the 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 culotta. Don't put that with nothing. Leave that by. No, itself. no, no. Nah, nah, nah. You, you, Friday, I'm gonna do it. I'll, I'll do a Friday. Start back mm-hmm. my drinking on Friday. You st- you don't drink on the weekdays? I try not to, man. You know, try not to. <laughs> Keep it busy, I, you know. Try not to. I'm trying to hold back. I haven't been sipping on no beers. I've been holding back off of the beers. I ain't gonna lie. I took a little shot of liquor, mm-hmm. and I put some. I put some. I put some liquor in my tea this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I put some look in my tea. I had some, but it was like E and J peach. I poured it inside the tea. I remember I told my boss, like, man, I put some crown vanilla inside my coffee. That shit tastes so good. He said, Don't do that. Don't start that. That's alcoholism. I didn't do I don't know you talk. I mean, look. It was good. I stopped. I won't say he don't know what you talked about. He probably got a lot of, you know, he probably was gonna been through something. So he's like, yo, let's not do that. He but said, you know. he, he said, you're going to get comfortable with having your alcohol is something. He said, first off, you don't want to get comfortable with putting alcohol in your breakfast drink. He said, then you're going to get comfortable with carrying the out, being able to have alcohol where you're not supposed to have it. He said, before you know it, you got a bottle in the car. I mean, it's a slippery slope. So it's I didn't. Slippery do it. slope. I don't even keep licking the house. I don't do it. I, if I feel like drinking, then I go get some liquor. I don't, I don't do it. Now, it's beer, slippery slope. now the beer, now the people at the gas station, they, they got something against me with the beer. Because the one by my house, they be having every weekend, it's a new special. It'll be two 
12 packs or 18 packs or 15 packs of beer for $22 or $14 and they keep re re revising which one it is or two 12 pack, two four packs for $6. They trying to set me up. I'm trying not to drink, but they just making it too easy to get the alcohol. So while you at work, you looking at it like, yo, bet as soon as I get off work, I'm a, I'm a cop, I'm a cop some. When I yeah. go to the store, <laughs> I, see, I go to the store on Fridays and I'm looking at the liquor prices like, yeah, I'm about to get me a 12 pack. Though. I'm gonna get that. And then it's like, okay, now I got two 12 packs. <laughs> so now I'm drinking Modelo, drinking, drinking Modelo because I got 24. Ooh. I I, I, mean, I I have drank so much if it wasn't so readily available to me. That's that's alcohol. You fit all twenty four. You fit all twenty four in your fridge. Yeah. She made space. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to see you started drinking. I'm like, yo, listen, I, I can't. I, I, I don't I even hold half. I moved the waters over to the side. You know, I put all the waters in the bottom drawer. We ain't got fruit in our drawers. We got water and soda. So I move all the waters over there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wasn't even worried about the soda. I put the twelve pack in one drawer, and then I put the box on the on the next shelf, right over there, on top of it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I do not care. I do not care. Yeah. I don't even know hey. why I put it in the fridge. I don't even like my beer cold. I I can't drink no hot beer, man. Mm -hmm. My beer got no, cold. Not hot. It can't be hot. I take the beer out the fridge. Like, all right, if we go somewhere and we buying drinks, I buy the beer. And let it sit. I'm, I'm taking mine out. Like, if you know I'm coming to your house, like my friends, they used to come and they get the beers, they'll go to the store and they'll buy the beers and they'll put the beers in the refrigerator. They're going to leave mine on the counter. I mean, to each his own, I guess. Uh, you know, you know, the course, That's like, you like this. they got the mountains on the side and high. Yeah, yours don't really have no mountain, no mountain for me. Your mom be gray as hell. <laughs> I, 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 it, I take yeah, a mom's be brown. They got no snow in it. <laughs> Baby blue mountains for me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mountain be brown as hell. Like there ain't no snow here, no melting. And I and I and I ain't pouring no beer out. If I was drinking some beer last night and I ain't finished it, I might have opened it like two in the morning and left it out. I wake up in the morning, I'm picking that sucker up and I'm drinking it. And the fact that it's hot, the fact that it's hot, what? What's going on that thing up? Done. You know me. Shoot. You know many times I had a drink, fell asleep, woke back up, and like damn, ice melted. I see the I'm like, mm, do I want to? Uh, I'll taste them. Like nah. In the second go, it'd be some it'd be some privilege. Hennessy too. Like dang man, why did I pour it out? First off, you, know you were not supposed to put no ice in no Hennessy. You gotta be like my homegirl. She go get. She got these ice cube shits. I don't know what they are, but the, you put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. They are when you take them out of the freezer and put them in your drink. They keep the drink cold, but they don't melt. Mm, okay, okay, that's like it's the ice like uh, packs. Heathen ring. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But shoot, I don't drink the Hennessy drink anyway. I mean, it's always got to be some Red Bull with it or uh, Coke, Red Bull or Hennessey. ginger ale. Oh man, you don't know. You don't be out. You sure nah. you don't be out. You, get ready. you got time. Don't, don't, hey, don't me knock it, man. Me and Hennessy, we not in love. Like I can't. I... Crown baby. Crown. I mean, crown. I don't know what to mix crown with. I'll drink crown straight. The purple bag straight. Mm -hmm. Any bag. I drink them all straight. The purple crown be bag sitting there. is crown. Is crown and, and coke. That's how we do it. Okay. You get like yeah, crown and coke. Um, for the purpose. You about to have me have a lit Friday. <laughs> now the green, the green crown, the apple sprite. Mm hmm. Hmm. Sprite. Sprite. Okay. Okay. The peach one. Go for it. Nothing. Just yeah. Just go for it. Matter of fact, just just take the bottle to the head, cause nah, <laughs> I gotta pour it. I gotta pour it in one of my. My special Cause, glasses. Cause fuck around, fuck around, you gonna find out. Fuck <laughs> around, the more you find out. I need to get me one of them. Fuck around, you gonna find out. And the, so the more you fuck around, the sooner you gonna find out. <laughs> Crowd, that's my mm -hmm. shit. Right there. When I gotta was make a chart with that. Put the side right here. I'm a, I'm yep. a, I'm a, I'm a, but hey, listen, you see, 
I'm going to draw it. I'm going to draw it. The more you fuck around, the sooner you'll find out. Put the shirt <laughs> but, Hey, what I tell you? You, you got number three right here, okay? You get cl- you, you, you you're close to finding the fuck out. <laughs> right? You fucking around right now. You fucking around. You fucking around. You gonna soon gonna find out. I'm, you, I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you gonna find out soon. That, that was the most genius reel ever. <laughs> I want to. I I just want to do something like that. I just want. I just want to be that great. I just want to be that creators. Great. Creators, man. Mm-mm-mm. Creative. Mm-mm. Anybody could be a creative. I'm mad I ain't up north. I would have been I would have been hiring me somebody 12 years old. Shoot, I, they, I, they all over. I'd have been had a 12 year old. I would have had somebody little sister making my shit. Like, listen, you could you could edit this for me. I get <laughs> 20 dollars Look, I only pay about an hour. This shouldn't take you more than an hour. Yeah. An hour. Fifteen dollars an hour is your rate. Every assignment is fifteen dollars. It shouldn't take you more than an hour. Fifteen dollars, shit. They, they probably won't even move for that fifteen dollars. Like, damn, fifteen dollars, twenty. Uh, fifteen dollars. Out the chair. It depends on who. You, I mean, not my not my bougie ass kids. <laughs> but no, why don't you do it? Like, oh, Chrisette you must like, get you must get some money. Chrisette be like. I need twenty. Because that would do it. Could you make it twenty? Did you tip? Shoot, Christa was harassing me for money earlier. I need money. <laughs> like money. You should take. You just got. You just got Robux the other day. <laughs> I need money for my piggy bank. <laughs> I should want put. I should want me to give her my money so she can put in her piggy bank. I said, let me see this piggy bank. I I lift it up and like, oh, I shouldn't have lifted it up. So yeah, that's where you get the money out from. <laughs> <laughs> you already you, you barely got the piggy bank full you already studying how to get the money out jeez listen the piggy bank the piggy bank idea was never made to save money because a real piggy bank oh, doesn't man. have a bottom yeah <laughs> real piggy banks do not have holes at the bottom Back in the day, the piggy bank was a porcelain pig with a hole in the middle that was hollow. When you got ready to break the bank, you had to break the break. pig. Yep. This, mm-hmm. You didn't sit there and finger the pig, try to get twenty dollars. You got. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like lifting this dag on water, water jug with all this damn coins in it and dollars. You get the money out of you get the dollars out of there. You gonna be sorry once you start shaking that dollar. Hold up, start that page. You gonna be like, let me see how big it is. You gotta get one of these. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <going> there. <laughs> let me find out you got a whole tool to get the money out. <laughs> you you Shoot, look like I... a video game machine. <laughs> that's what it is. That, that's. Sure, that's like you get um lost boats in, uh, underneath the hood, you know, lots of screws don't pick it up with that. But you know, the kids don't know about that, you know, you can't teach them about that. But next thing you know, there will be no dollars in there. Mm-mm. You see all these little knickknack toys they don't bought for school, like, damn, where they getting money from? You go downstairs, like, whoa, whoa, ain't not one dollar in there. I see a whole bunch of ripped ones because <laughs> they've been pulling too hard. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all know how to shake the whole thing out and get the dollars. They they don't even, they they forgot this damn thing is not here. They don't put no money in it. Chrisette would have came if she remembered. She'd have like, I need Robux. She, every day she come with that that on Robux. I don't know what she be doing. She be spending. She be spending. What is she buying? Wigs and all types of shenanigans. And Ta- Natalia, hold up. You gonna have to take a break. Hold up. Tell them on the podcast, buddy. <laughs> it's not until somebody you can call. Somebody hits you. Yeah, up. Um, Natalia, she she get robux and she don't spend it. She save it, but she oh I can't give none. I can't give none away. I can't share. She's saving it for a sale. I don't know the schematics of the robux thing, but 
you know, she, you know, she always harassing me. And, you know, sometimes I give up. That's the Every other day ish. That's the new commercial. You was little, you be like, "Oh, mommy, I want that. I want that." So now it's like, "Hey, I need Robux." Somebody that made me. Hold on a second. Hey, this dude uh, made me came and hear what's going on. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get online, everybody call me. Talk. Oh man! As soon as you get online, everybody wants to talk to you. Hold on there. He done made it, he done made it, he done made it. He done threw a monkey wrench in my damn plan. It's because you picked up that little scooper scooper that you just had. Now you gotta yep. solve problems. There we go, there we go. There we go. Now you gotta solve problems. You said you did It's all now. It's solved now. Look at my guy, that, Teddy. That thing is way in the background in the fog, in the mist. That's my guy. It looked like somebody. That's my guy, Teddy. He got on a hat. <laughs> Teddy looked like he got his spec. Mm -hmm. Somebody sneaking downstairs. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's cool, cool, cool. That is on a podcast, and you're not you're not invited. Okay. <laughs> she like no. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that if that was your and the funny thing is, kids do not care what you want. Nope. That's what she came down here. Mom, get that. Your dad's on a podcast. They're yeah. talking like, oh, uh, what time does does it start? I don't know. They would have come down here and then bum rush me. Man. All, all of a sudden, they're asking all types of weird questions. In my house, my, I'm set up in the kitchen. When I get ready to turn on my light, I could be all week. I ain't come back here. As soon as I come back here, everybody wants to cook in the kitchen. Everybody needs something <laughs> to drink. The microwave, the air fryer. At the same time, and I'm just sitting there wondering, see, when I was younger, sockets didn't have that much strength to use the microwave and the air fryer. You could barely wash dishes, and take a shower at the same time. How the hell that one socket mm -hmm. all of that? And I just got to sit there and wait for them, and I have to tell myself I can't be mad that people want to use the kitchen. So It's so coincidental they want to use it while you're on. It's subconscious. That's something in their subconscious that says, I need to go in the kitchen. But what I can't be mad is... Myself, myself, myself. You just got the plate, and you saw that I was sitting here waiting. And then you went in the room, and then you came back, and just remembered you needed something to drink. Mm -hmm. You don't go to fuck right when I got that room. You be like, you be talking like, you be talking like how mama used to talk like this. Get your ass in that motherfucking room. Man, I got so <laughs> many, I got so many pieces of podcasts where you hear the doors opening. I had to get P forty and fix. <laughs> Sound like a horror movie. Yes, yes, yes. Back in the day before I started uh, adding music, to, before I just recently started adding music in the podcast. But if it was back in the day, in my earlier podcast, and you heard music, it was too much going on in my house and I had to cover it. Mm. The way I had to put WD 40 on the doors, is a creak on the floor. So I just be talking and talking, and I just hear the door open, like, oh my God. They, they, for the most part, they quiet, but you, hey, it you, could be, it you could know. be like, it could be paying super, you pay more attention to it because you're on the podcast. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't bother you before. So, yeah, mm -hmm. WD 40, I'm sorry, it's like, hey, shoot. If you ain't got WD 40, you better spray some oil sheen on that bad boy. Man, you I ain't got put, that. I'd have put olive oil on that shit. You got, <laughs> I was going there. I do drip, drip. I'd have rubbed some coconut coconut oil. I'd have slapped some Crisco or something on the uh, vegetables, something. Drip, drip. Because all you hear is Mm-hmm. Then my neighbor downstairs, she um, she got had her weekly party. It's, it's cool right now because they, they ain't start drinking yet. What time is it? It's almost eight. Yo, 
by the time they start drinking, maybe about nine, ten o'clock, you're gonna hit them in there with the mic, like, I got the blue. You like oh, <laughs> they ain't really be doing karaoke. Oh my goodness, yo. I don't know why they did it. <clears throat> these these stores that started selling these DJ speakers and they come with a mic and the stand. It come with mic stand, the um LED lights that go in the circle. Everybody swear they the DJ now. They be like, yo, you, I can hook my phone. Everybody think they the DJ. And all I got to say is I, I seen one with a little um I seen one with jaw grills on it too. I'm like, what the heck do you think they're doing? The, with this <laughs> It's got a handle. How how it's got a handlebar wheels and a stand. What are you doing? They were them cheap ones. They look like we could hook Bluetooth. I said, no DJ in their right mind is hooking it up Bluetooth. You're gonna have a three second delay. It those oh, mix hey, oh, my goodness. I tried. I tried playing Bluetooth. It was terrible. This is when I first started really messing with um virtual DJ and then I was mixing with. This the laptop alone. I tried Bluetooth. Oh no, it was, it was like no, no. Put the mix on. Stop, stop right there. Put the mix on. <laughs> that makes it. <laughs> I've, I've I've tried it with the Bluetooth. Not gonna work. It's, it's you don't even know how much it echoes when you're playing it from your phone. If it's just your phone, you straight. But with that, you gotta get that shit hooked up. It try, was a delay. Try mixing with the echo on. I, I don't I don't work through the echo. All I do is uh give it a half a second delay in the mix and I can make it mm -hmm. I done figured out the delay, but mm -mm, that Bluetooth, I tell you, everybody swear they the DJ. They, they, yeah, they, they, I, they done made the set with the crossfader. I got one friend, she got a uh LG system. Now, don't get me wrong, it bucked now. I think like 900 watts. I'm sure it bucked now. Don't get me wrong, but it's got a little mm -hmm. On it, I go to her house. She'd be like, You should bring your DJ stuff there. And in my head, it's like, Cool, all I gotta do is bring bring my board and my laptop and just plug it into her speaker. Mm -mm. I'll be just laughing in my head because she the whole thing be set up for failure because there was never any intentions of me bringing my shit. The whole aim was for her to showcase her because mm -hmm. now I can't get to the socket. <laughs> the long enough. So you made me come here with my shit, made it inconvenient for me to use it, only so you could be like, well, I guess I got the better one now. Like, you're right. And the only thing you got is a laptop and your mixing board. You got the better one. Um, You're right. You're right. Oh, yeah. You, you got to play a mix. Don't worry. You got to gonna have to set yourself up. <laughs> Need a chair. Okay. Stick it in. And nah. If I'm going to somebody's house and you talk about you want me, did you want me to bring some music? I bring well, this. All right. the mixes on that. I got some mixes on that. We're gonna play. I'll say what kind of music you want to hear. We're gonna flip through the mixes. I got RB, I got hip hop. I got whatever, whatever, whatever. When I'm ready to go, mm -hmm. I grab for it. They be like, hey, hey, where you going? I'm like, hey, you want it? Give me such and such amount of money, and I'll leave it here. For that amount, you can have it. For that, you can have it. Ain't nothing. I can go make me another one. I just bought me some blank ones. I was like, I'm about to start. Yeah, the barber. Shoot. I was watching the barber. I said, what kind of music? I asked everybody, what kind of music you listen to? Because I need to figure out what people listen to. You'd be surprised how many niggas say hip-hop. Mm -mm -mm. like, I remember I was playing at this party. They hired me to play at this party. I brought the DJ, I brought the two speakers, mix and everything. And I'm like, yo, it's, a, it's supposed to be some hospital event you know, or for the, for the staff. So I put on a pop mix, put on a pop mix, let it rock. I'm walking around having drinks and being nosy. And then um, it was for my wife's cousin. She's like, you're not playing no music. I'm like, you don't hear music playing? No, but you're not DJing. I'm like, I, I've DJed that <laughs> music play right. Everybody, inter everybody entertained. Mm -mm. Like you know, I could I could turn it off and pack it up. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh oh, music play right. Okay. They want you to stand there. And pull me to stand. 
turn the knobs and stuff. You know how to, you see them on TV and on YouTube, mm-hmm. touching the knobs and they turn it back and forth. I'm just looking like, what are they? What? I'm just looking. What I, they I've doing? done that before <laughs> until I got bored. Like, I ain't doing this, man. And don't get me wrong, some of the buttons make sense. Like the bass button, I, if I'm recording, I'll wiggle with it and jiggle with it. And it make a difference when you play it, but not really. Mm-hmm. It do, but it ain't it, it ain't all that turning that they doing. Nah, they ain't doing all yeah, that. Yeah, they be fake scratching like, I don't hear no scratching, but they scratching. What are you, what are you doing? All the years uh. I used to watch them DJs do it until I got the board, I realized, man, you put them damn headphones on. By the time you press play, that shit gonna line it up, set your cue, tap the button and go. That is what you call that's virtual DJ for you. It make virtual DJ is like an automatic car. You just put in drive and it and it's go it goes. But now, you know you gotta know what two songs to put together. I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can't be mixing a bull crap now, but it's it's simple, it's very simple. Serato, you gotta know how to play, really. You can't just jump on Serato and think you got it. No, you, it's gonna it's gonna really show your true colors. But virtual DJ is simple. I mean, so do I need yeah, to do I need to switch to Serato? You go to Serato, you're gonna come back right back to virtual DJ because the the convenience of your um of your crates of your music, you know, it's gonna be like you know I, I can't find my crates. You set your crates up. Me personally, I don't know how to set up my crates with uh with Serato. Every time I set them up, they wind up disappearing as soon as I shut it down and open it back up. Everything be gone. You know, I don't know how to do it. So I just stick with virtual DJ. But I don't even really play like that anymore. So sure. Virtual DJ for me. I got I got a I got a Serato skin make it look like Serato. Call it Serato. <laughs> <laughs> and, and guys be judging. They be right up there looking at your shit, trying to see what you got. What you? Were they looking at your board? They looking at your this. And the main one looking, what you got? Mm-hmm. They play. They everybody plays Serato. They'll walk past like they look like they come back like what was what's that? That Serato? No, Serato. <laughs> So I'm just like that. Serato. It's virtual DJ. Well, why don't you play with uh, Serato? I could, but you know. Why don't you go Everything's dance? Everything's set up here. Why don't you go dance? <laughs> that girl like you right there. Go on, go, go, go on, go get that one. <laughs> sound man, they gotta be up on the sound. Mm-hmm. Do everybody look it look like everybody just pull up with their book bag, like yo, I can play yo. You want me to play? Yo, I can play. I yo. like that. I like that. You know that listen. I like the vibes. So when I was playing music, you know, I'll play, but if somebody else wanna come over and, and play, oh okay, come on play. Lazy. So they, be, they be they be coming with the book bag, they be you start playing hard, they like with the laptop like oh yo, yo. they ready to play. I'm like, oh yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. I remember they, they try to they would try to outplay you too. Yep, yep, they'll start playing music. They try to pull everything underneath the sun. But I know I listen to what they're playing. And I know where the holes are. And then I start from there. And that's as a real DJ, that's what you're supposed to do. But I like, hey, you want to play? You play. It's not about me playing. It's about the vibe. It's a right. party. I care about the big picture. Everybody care about trying to look good. I mean, sure it's my party. So I'm always going to look good. Hello. <laughs> they make it seem like oh the, um the young DJ he want to drop all the newest songs. Yeah. Too stupid. Stupid. Too early. Stupid. Stupid. And and what are you doing that for? You just showing you just showing that's that's it's like you came fast. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's so good. You gotta warm her up. You gotta warm her up. You gotta play some of this and a little bit of that. You gotta warm her up. You gotta rub her down. She gotta get. The rock in, and she got to play the little tap. They got to start with the head bop and the tap tap. Start with the head yeah. bop tap tap. Once the music get undeniable, once you get to certain songs, your body remember the, the flex. Like if you listen yeah. to, if you listen to the 90s 
are you listening to the nineties dance or your body is like, oh shit. What, what, mm -hmm. what as soon as they hear the reggae, butterfly. You know I mean? As soon as they hear it, so the start moving like butterfly, because that's what your brain. <laughs> is. So if you start playing the nineties music, then people start warming up to it. You know, they making their way mm -hmm. up. To Stroke the girl slow, rub her down a little bit, let her get loose. Then you bust the wine. You know what, the crazy play. thing about it is these young guys they don't even get to play how they really want to play because. It's too many veterans that know what they're doing that is going to be before them. By the time they get on, they, they whatever they was thinking about playing has been played. Or whatever they think about playing has been played as a teaser. They start it and they cut, they'll, they'll wheel, wheel it. And oh, shoot, that, that already played. And their mind is like, it played. So by the time they get on, and they don't know how to talk. They don't know how to warm the crowd up oh, with the new hey, music. If you come in on somebody after that, you could... You could talk through anything if you know what ain't get played. If you shit, if 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 the if the veteran DJ done played everything, play some soca. Play ah, people don't know soca like that. Play some soca. Be like, I see everybody. I said I'd have grabbed the mic and be like, hey, I see everybody done had everything. We done wrapped it up. We done hip hop, we done R and B, whatever for play, whatever for play, and just bust out the hey the soca. They would have been like shit. <laughs> We did. Mm -hmm. just, yep. just, just accept people be like trying to fight it that you know that you ain't got this and you ain't got that and they too busy like you trying to play me out. Don't worry about what you ain't got. Use what you do. Mm -hmm. Use what you do. I I, yep. I ain't worried about that. I'm gonna use whatever I got and I'm just gonna keep going. If I wanted if I wanted it to be this way, okay, maybe we can't do it that way. I don't want to waste no more time trying to figure out how to get it that way. I'm gonna just do what the fuck I could do. And, and and pray for the best, and then next time it'll be better, I guess. That's it. You start playing, you see the crowd. They move it. They not are they not moving? You know, if, you got to just know the crowd, see the crowd, what the crowd is. You know, if if it's a whole bunch of trinis, you know they're gonna it's soca, soca, it's soca, and you can get away with some some um we call it F morning. You know, we right, do a right, PG right. on this. <laughs> right, so, right, 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 right. It's some F morning music. Yeah, that's that. That's a hardcore wind up music. Yeah, you know. But um, other than that, you can't just you can't play soca and play some um Margaret Heritage right after. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. depends on the vibe. Now it depends. You so can't I, go from there to I jump was, to, you know. From soca, you go Afro beats. I assume. You could, yeah. It matches up. And Afro beats should bring Afro beats could bring you back. All you gotta do is you could use Afro beats to bring you back, Drake you back. Back to hip hop. Well, you it seems like you've been listening to my mix. <laughs> That's how I I'll play. Drake on every Afrobeat song. Every you, everyone. Oh, you can everything play the, is relative. You can play the burner boy and then you can bring it back with Tony Braxton. Okay, okay. Yep. That's just that's your uh transition. That's song, well, you don't trans typically you don't transition backwards. You transition forward. Um, it depends. It depends. I mean, it depends on the time. You could, you could, you could, you could bring. You know, you slow. It if down. you start, if you started off with, if you're already in Afrobeats and you want to bring it to that era with Tony Braxton, you want to bring it to that. You know that that um. I don't even want to. I don't want to uh, insult no ladies, <laughs> the single ladies type of music. You could play the you could play the burner boy and you put on the Tony Braxton, but like for the ladies, because mm -hmm. if all else fails, it's all about the ladies. It doesn't matter what mm -hmm. they play. It's all about the ladies. If this part, as long as it ain't no gunman party, if there's women in the party, ladies always get the party started. Because once they start, oh yeah, then drinks going by. Oh yeah, it's a, it's all about the vibe. I mean, you you playing long as the vibe is there, people are enjoying themselves. That's it. You got the party. I mean, it's always the critics like, oh, you didn't play this right. Oh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> everybody was loving the way I played, right? Everybody got, nobody was complaining. It's always the critics. But, you know, the critics are the ones who don't know what the hell they're doing. The people who know what they're doing, they ain't saying nothing. They just know, all right, you're holding the crowd. That's what's up. But, you know, but... That's that was a different arena. I ain't in that arena no more. I ain't got time for that no more. 
<laughs> you done with the St. John's days? You remember I used to sneak you in the St. John's? I, I still be going to parties, uh, definitely. But I remember saying you broke me out. <laughs> I don't even think the parents knew where he was at, man. We was gone. We was gone. They wasn't checking up on me. I don't know. I look. I don't know if they're checking up. They wasn't checking up on me. Nah, nobody was checking. Nobody. They wasn't checking. That's that middle child. Me and Jason busy getting fucked up. You doing whatever. Ain't nobody see you. (laughs) Nah. I stayed out. I stayed clear. I stayed clear. I get an ass whipping. I'm I'm outside. Right by the door. Mm. Okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, look around and be like, "You want some too?" Mm-mm. Nope. I ain't around because I don't want nothing to. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be. A, I'm not gonna be the the one gonna get the the back end of the ass whooping. You still upset? You don't beat. You don't beat the shit out of him. You still upset? And you mm. were doing this the other day. No, <laughs> <laughs> so clear. Once their arm get ready, they don't care. Like, 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 <laughs> like <laughs> shoot, Mm-mm-mm. stay clear. But they wasn't checking up on us. Ah, uh-uh. what Who I remember about Saint John is what was his name? Ivan, I think his name was. What I remember about Saint John's, I go to the door, and I'd be like, "How much to get in?" He'd tell me the price, and I'd be like, "Ain't nobody in there." He'd you hear like, the music bumping off the walls. You'd be like, enough people in there, enough people in there. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. nah. If you can hear the words in the song, nah. If you can hear the words in the song clear, the music bouncing off the walls, like you said. But when the place packed, all you hear is, all you hear is bass when the place back. You hmm. sure? We'll just go back in the car, chill for a minute. I mean, after forty-five minutes, we, we were we didn't get there too early. We mm-hmm. got there a little early. I mean, half an hour early before everybody started rolling in. Everybody started rolling in. We in the crew. You we ain't in the crowd. We in the crowd. You ain't know we was there early because it was a different price. It was either free or cheaper for us hours. Mm-hmm. I don't get there earlier for the hours, and then it's like I knew so many people. So if I get there, let's say the people that am at the door. If everybody ain't at the door and the one I do know at the door, it might be like, uh, you know. But if enough mm-hmm. people, here, then you can't get no slide. But if it's just me, then it's like, come on now. Come on now. What, what, what? <laughs> and then what? it's like, I always, I always travel with, I was smart. I always travel with bitches, bad bitches. If I got bitches with me, they not telling. I'm like, yo. No, was getting for free. How much it costs to get in here? And he started talking about the price, and I'm looking at them like, man, how much? The party's soon done. Why I got to pay so much money? Da, 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 da. And then, then, then there's always some niggas outside, and they see me and my chicks. They like, I got them, boss. <laughs> I, got them. I got them. Come, you ladies, come. All four of y'all, four of y'all, five of y'all, come. I got them. And you know, for a guy, you walk in the door, you got five chicks with you. You the man. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we with you too. You paying? We with you. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Only thing I don't remember is getting any drinks. Ne- no, I never, I never got a drink in there. Nah, we ain't get you no drinks. <laughs> they ain't give me no drink. I'm I'm in the party. No drinks. No <laughs> drinks. That's how happened. That's how happened the people you know got into the party. Box boy. At least you ain't had to carry no speaker. No, I didn't. <laughs> I carried the crater too. <laughs> I carried the crater too. That That's was with um party box boy for the girls. Mm-hmm. You, you bring the food in. Girls got to bring mm-hmm. the food in. Boys bringing the speaker box. If it wasn't, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for speakers and crate, if it wasn't for milk crates and records, half of the DJs would have never even gotten the club. Never. They, do you know what the crazy thing is? They coming in the club with their back, their backpacks. But they, I mean, it depends. Now it's like, okay, if you try to get into a party, somebody in the party who, who is respected, gotta come and get you at the door. So, you know, he, he with me. He's a DJ for the night. Or this DJ is such and such. Or this DJ is such and such. He, yeah, yeah, he good. He good. He good. I mean, you know, that's how they get in. You know, um, now for parties, when I'm going to, when I'm going to a party, I'm not looking for no hookup. I'm not looking for no discount. 
How much is this that no, I'm paying? But you got your boys like, yo, man, I ain't paying the boy, man. Yo, this person supposed to come to the door, man. We got we getting in for free. All right. Yeah, if you come right away, I'll go in. You talking about waiting 15 minutes at the nah, you, you make me you make me look like a man. Scrub out here. Back in the day when I used to do the parties, I would work the door and them boys be like, We buying bottles. I didn't understand what the hell does that mean. But oh yeah. Come to realize if you are buying bottles, you shouldn't have to pay to get it free. You yeah. shouldn't have to pay to get in because you already yeah. pay. You're paying. But now that's not even, I mean, I guess now is they don't even care about that because everybody's gonna be buying bottles. Everybody wants to look like the big boss and have the, have the sparkles. Well, you know, they buy one bottle. I, I don't even know anybody who really goes to the bar to buy one drink. Now people just if they ain't got the money for the drink, they're gonna they go to their friend like, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? And they're gonna try to drink off the table. You know, that, that's that's corny to me, but um I'm listen, I go to a party. They I need a bottle. Like, they looking like lot lizards. Looking like lot lizards. <laughs> Yo, I go, I'm on. Uh, I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm walking by. Yeah. All right, yeah. Take a drink. Like chain, chain ring, man. But every every time we go to the party, I I take would be. I take would be full. Shoot. It almost had like six bottles of champagne, four bottles of Hennessy, like that. I mean, who the hell drinking all this? Two like bottles of Casamigos. Oh, yeah. they they. How many Casamigos? Two. It sounds like you what? said two about to be like, shit, that Casamigos shit strong as hell. The only, there's only certain people drinking that. Ladies drink that. And and um, Ju little Junior would drink that. But I ain't messing with I, I I drink Hennessy. I drink Hennessy. You know. Or if my bottles are in the party, I definitely got to have my bottles on the table. Yeah, you know, definitely. You know, it depends on who's who's hosting the party, who's who want, actually bought cases and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. your bottle. Oh, my part, my no, oh, the Paradise Vibes be in the parties. They be in there. Okay. You know, it be it be is it would be weird. It be it used to be weird to me where I used to see a bottle of Paradise Vibes. I'm like, yo, where the hell you get that from? Who sold you that? Where you get that from? Oh, I got it from Stylus. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. They bought, they did buy three cases. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, they hosting the party. They they selling the rumpus at the party. As they should. Mm -hmm. You know, in Jersey, that, that's like that. In Brooklyn, when my party and the soccer parties, they be out there. They don't know me to be the owner, but then when they see me, they know I'm the owner because you know, I got the merch, I got the pendant. When they see you, they're so, like, oh! That's him. That's him. That's the, that's the boy. Wait, wait, wait. Who? Nah, he, he got to be the owner. He's the C. He's the one with the money. Yo, you like, are you like a rope punch? All right. Drink up more. <laughs> it's always the ladies. Drink more. Drink more. <laughs> I'm going to put it in nip bottles, but first off, that ain't even enough. A nip ain't enough. That's not enough. Nip ain't enough. Nah, it, it mm -mm. It ain't enough. Um, mm -mm -mm. I don't know water bottle. Water bottle, sixteen ounces. Mm. I've done that before too. I, I, you know, I've done that, but um, it's ain't, to me. It ain't worth it. It's too much work to put them in those bottles. Too much work. It's too, too much. much work, and you're gonna sell it for how much? You gonna sell it for? Right. The, well, those 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 bottles cost. Work I less. mean, exactly. So you gonna sell a bottle for? And uh, I mean, you can't even sell, you know, you probably sell for $10 if that, That's if crazy. that, I mean, and then it looks, it looks, you know, I ain't gonna pay you $10 for it. I'll pay you, I'll give you five. Nah. You know, so nah, forget about that. I don't sell them in those bottles. I sell them in two sizes. I got the $25 size and I got the $45 size. You buy three $25 ones, you get for three for 60. You know, keep it simple. I'm not trying to put in no other bottles. I'm not trying to make no jello shots with it. No, also, you don't want to make no jello shots. Nah, I'm not making no jello shots with it. Because I I am <laughs> I sell rum punch. You still I don't like sell jello shots. They got you the shish kebabs. I should have made the shish kebabs when I was at your house. Well, I poured a liquor. Oh man. Hmm. 
with a rum punch. All right, so next time you jerk in your chicken, not even not even with the jerk chicken, I just season up the chicken, put it on the kebabs, and then when it's bop done, splash the liquor on it. Hmm. Well, I forgot, so she make Moscato wings. She said she soaked them. She cooked. She said she seasoned the chicken just like she making regular chicken. And then when she about to be done and about to be final with it, then she poured the Moscato on top of the chicken and put it on the grill. Hmm. That shit good in the motherfucker, but I be too busy drinking the Moscato side, so you know, Moscato chicken. So, you know, when I got the chicken, I done drank the Moscato. When I got the Moscato, I don't have no chicken, so I ain't got to it yet. <laughs> you can't do the comparison. Like it's, it tastes like chicken and it tastes like Moscato. I can't I can't do it because I'm now them them shish kebabs. Anybody who had the shish kebabs would be like, yo, anytime she says she's gonna make it, I'm on it with the with the rum punch. I had told myself I was gonna make a barbecue sauce, but I didn't get that far because every time I get the rum punch, I drink it. Shoot, you make it. you make a sauce out of it. That's a good. Idea. I mean, you give me it's a lot of good ideas, but you know you gotta stick to you gotta stick to. I'm still down to my last drop. I'm I'm holding on to my last shot. This damn thing. How long you sent me this? I got this for my birthday about two, three. This the pineapple. I got this in the mail. Two, maybe when, three years ago. Three years? You better, you better finish that sucker. I'll send you more. <laughs> I'll send you more. Man. <laughs> I got none down here. You know how you open a five-gallon bottle of paint in a... In a yep. In a, <laughs> damn. You can't. I ain't about to drink this on the camera. I probably die right here on the camera. Like, hello, you there? <laughs> but the pineapple, the pineapple really set. It, it really sets good. Like, I mean, over you sit for a while, that thing be rocking. The few of them be rocking. Some of them be like, yo. I mean, I will be scared of them when they sit too long. I'll be afraid. Like, yo, that thing must be. Nigga, that I'm thing must afraid. be hitting, hitting. I'm afraid. I remember I made a rum punch for mommy, right? And this before I had the labels, anything like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. before I had the labels, and I put the I used to make a rum punch a certain way, right? And I put them in a certain bottle. It kept. So I know. It kept well. Yeah, they keep they, it for two well. years. It kept me in the face. It kept well. Mm hmm. Damn. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send you a three banger. Ah, I I'll send you three banger. I'll send you three banger. But I, I made a rum punch. I put it in a certain bottle. Mommy got the oldest but, bottle of rum punch alive. I put this in. So I put it in a special bottle. So when I saw it, I'm like, yo, you still got this? I don't even I haven't. This is then. I like I haven't made rum punch like this in two years. With the circle. Shit, I had it longer than that. Oh, with the oh, she. Oh no, dang. She got the she OG. Got oh, that is Lewin's brand. Lewin's brand when it first started, that is almost five years old. Nah, nah. She was, from, she was we was living in Georgia when she got that. Mmm. So oh, who's it's about who's five. drinking it? Is it open? It, no. Who gonna open that and drink it? <laughs> you know what? What, uh, what flavor says? Strawberry. OG. Oh, that's gonna be kept. Oh man, I think it's gonna be good. Strawberry keeps good. Don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, maybe I open it for Christmas. That's I, an OG. That I, I told her. I said she said I was like, let's open it. Everybody keep going. I ain't drinking that shit. Everybody scared. He scared. I just, oh, I, oh. You shake your face. Shake, I, shake, shake yeah, good. I, I feel warm as shit on the inside. <laughs> I'm a, nah, man, I gotta send you. I gotta send it this, out this dang on tomorrow for you. Ah. You gotta have. You gotta have one punch on deck. Mm hmm. Let me see. Man. I'm not supposed <laughs> to be drinking right now, but you got. Now you gonna have me hold on there. I knew if I showed you, it would prompt you to be like, you know what? 
If you held on for that long, I, I ain't never want to run out. <laughs> Hold on, I got some cool out of splash here, but no, no, no. Discipline. No. <laughs> you just said there's no drinking. I that's what I said. No. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> nope. And I, I'll tell you this though. My partner be like, yo, the next couple weeks is gonna be the jam session, man. We about to I'm about to I'm about to be back in Jersey and we're gonna be playing. Play get your laptop ready. Get your laptop ready. I got download the soca. I'm like, this dude really I'm like, I'm like, my mix is not here. Don't worry, I got my mix up on my pop's house. I'm like, all right, I guess we're gonna be playing. Shoot, you try everything you can. Like, um, I'll play, you know what I mean? I know the jam session, we we be lit off that paradise vibes and we be vibing. Shoot, look, I mean, I shoot, man, I, I gotta set my I mean, I have to set myself back up in this daggone basement. Like, you know what? This is a jam session. Put the, put the, um, put the gimbal right there playing music. When I was in the basement, it gave me the old school vibes of the basement. Basement vibes. Mm-hmm. Even though my basement looked more dungeon-ish, but hey, don't worry. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy supposed to be coming up. Say, hey, I'm going to come up, man. You, you going to buy my ticket? Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy a ticket. Yep. Mm-hmm. As soon as I get all the materials, as soon as you, as soon as you, <laughs> as soon as you land, like, hey, we got to go to Home Depot real quick and get some are we on the way home? Like, are we on the way home? Hold on, let me pull up. Pull up out. Home Depot. Yeah, man. Yeah, we are good. Don't worry, man. We're gonna get some drywall. We're gonna get some sheetrock. <laughs> May I get some salt for you? <laughs> so yeah. super <laughs> So you take money easy. He gonna be like Jesus, Junior. And I, ain't, I ain't gonna surprise him like that. I don't, I, you know, I he, he ready to work, but he ready to work. This guy get it together. That's it. That's it. I wish I would. Mm -hmm. do, I wish I had some construction in me. When I see you doing all that on top of the roofs with technology, I said I should come up there and follow this man everywhere he go. I must. Sure. <laughs> you got. If you was up there, I'm like, hey, Siobhan, listen. All right, you take the van and just go. This guy show up. Just show up there. Make sure they know what they're supposed to do. And Even if I don't know what they're supposed to do, I'm smart enough to be like, you be like, yo, where your heart at? Yo, they be hiring. They be going to that going Home Depot and getting the legals. I'm like, yo, he ain't got no boots on. He walk. He. he he digging trenches with and sneakers. Like he about he look like he about to go like he just came from a party the night before. Yo go to Home Depot to look for work. <laughs> they, like, be yo. they be fresh in that shit with paint on it. You'd be like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I guess oh, it don't make no difference. It's just clothes. True, true, true. Hold on one second. We having a brief intermission. I get us some intermission music. Let me look at this hard drive, see what I can find. Oh my God, they is down there singing. All I hear is, ah, ah, ah. That is her damn song. La 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 la
And he wanna if my phone just be busy with with I mean that was a that was a um a broker calling me for more work. Like, yeah, you got me you, know, you got the travel? I'm like, yeah, I got the travel. I'm like, shoot, uh. I was listening to my neighbors downstairs. They in love with Fantasia. They're listening to lose to win. You got to hear them. It'd be like, have you ever seen some? I'm just listening like, oh, my God. That's the sh- They love Fantasia downstairs. Mm, mm, mm. Girl music. Girl music. That's that. Waiting to excel. 2.0. That's why I get my R&B mixes together. Girl music. Here in Florida. The R and B mix them. I swear it's the same fucking songs. If I hear that, can we talk one more time? <laughs> you know that's a reggae. That's a that's a little reggae song. The, when, I remember that was Sanchez. Can we talk? I remember. Mm-hmm. Let, let Jamaicans play some play some um, R and B music. That's Yo. the that Tevin Campbell. That's all they playing. I just wanna. I just wanna. Do a rap song and teeth the reggae people and, and put it on the rap song and be like, Wow, we've been doing this for years. <laughs> they manage Drake for that. <laughs> That's what Drake been doing. It's the American way, we've been doing this for years. Sanchez, Sanchez owe people money. Sanchez owe people money. <clears throat> they they ain't nowhere about Sanchez. Money. Sanchez whole album. <laughs> <laughs> you know Copyright infringement like, like a mofo. Sanchez and Wayne Wonder. Every every song. At least back in the day, Freddie McGregor them, they was trying to make their own song. Sanchez, Kearney Curtis, all of them. All of them. They was remixing everything. All of them. Ghosts. Go- Especially Ghosts. <laughs> Remember Donna? I had a girl and Donna was her name. Mm-hmm. Them boys was remixing everything. I just want to remix. I just want to take a, a reggae song and teeth it. I want teeth it. Yeah, you go ahead. You know what's going to happen? Some I'm, Americans going to sue you. I'm going to put it. Like, yo, you took my song. No, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That was a Jamaican song. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Where like, do you think he got it from? <laughs> I'm going to do it like 50 Cent. I'm going to make it a mixtape. <laughs> Back in the day, motherfucker, take your song, then jump on your jump on your song. Make it hotter than you. You talking about some Jacquees? Some Jacquees shit. Jacquees ain't make nobody's song hotter than who song he stole? Who song he jump on? He made hot. He, he took um tripping. Which tripping? What um. Uh, 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 with um, what's the name? LMA. That's the name. Yeah. Yeah, he 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 turned that song up. I guess. <laughs> that one hit like, mm, okay, yeah, yeah. You don't hit the target. Person I seen teach somebody's song was was a uh, old dirty bastard. You didn't even know. He didn't ask her to be on that song. Mm. What he did was he took the song and he rhymed on the song, put it at the beginning of the song, put her at the end of the song and sent it to the radio station. (coughs) And the radio station was playing it. Because remember, you saw the Wu-Tang story on TV? Mm -hmm. Wu-Tang was famous for Debo and shit. Cause when you watch the story, you think about it like, wait a minute. Hey, yes. What they used to do. Yeah. He just took that shit, and then she realized that wait a minute. So the radio playing that song over my song. That's my song. I'm about to make a music video on it, and I'm about. I need a cut. Put him on the song, undeniable. That's what I want to do. I want to debo somebody shit. Yeah. <laughs> if I had the opportunity, I would take I would take songs and remix them. But not just now people calling me now. Now my phone ringing. Um West Palm Beach. Oh. It could be. I don't know anybody in West Palm Beach. What time is it? I don't care. It could have been my job calling, but I don't like them that much. I, they lucky I even come to work. 
I don't like them that much. I hate my job. They lucky I ain't come to work. They were like, you back today? I said, I still got bills. Let me, let me come up with a solution between the last time I left here and when I come back, you, you'll you know when I'm good because you won't see me no more. Jeez. What they do to what they do to be ill now? You just started there. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> they be like, Vine, all my customers from all the other stores, they be like, Vine, you here now? I'll be like, hey, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. That's it. I, come here, I, ain't come here, I ain't come here to make a change. I ain't come here to make a difference. I come here to make a dollar. That's it. Yeah, I, I ain't Joe. I ain't Joe J. Clark. What I look like? No, 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 no. I ain't the team. Ain't no I and team. No, me. That's all I'm here for is me. Mm -mm. <laughs> that kind of team. We ain't playing football. No, 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 no. I'm not a company man. No, y'all not. No, y'all, y'all giving me benefits. No, say no. Mm -mm. I thought you wanted to be management there. I applied for management too. They talk about some you got earn your way up, and I'm just looking like I did the best thing y'all could have did. This was smart. See, what you did was you was making sure that you wasn't wasting your time teaching me how to be the manager because you know nobody. Mm -hmm. was so you did good. I appreciate you. You did good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I got. Uh, mm -mm. They ain't got enough money to pay me there. I'm just playing with them for now till I get my little coins and then I'm out. Talking. Exactly. That's how you, that's how you gotta be. Mm -hmm. Just put and, and, be my, like that. and my straight face so nice. They be talking to me. They be like, yeah, we're gonna do so. So I'll be like, yeah. Think it in my head. Nah. Nah. I ain't doing none of that shit. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just not doing it. I'm just mm -mm. you just you just there. You just that. With the, with the straight face, yeah. Yeah. No, no. Y'all don't pay me enough. And if you want me to give a fuck, you got to give me that extra buck. I, I hear you. You say you're just doing enough? You're doing enough so you... um Just, to get, paid. Paid. just to get paid. If you want me to care and carry the company, oh, you're going to have to pay me some of that money. Mm -hmm. Put this on my back. What I look like? And uh -uh, school over. No more book bags for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You got put something in my pocket. Put it in my pocket. I ain't chasing. Sure. It. I'm chasing the bag, not carrying it. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Not doing it. Shoot. Sure. I need. Mean, I, you know, I. I. I don't miss the dang on Walg the Walgreens um discounts. <laughs> and <laughs> went for Walgreens. Look, you gonna have. Just, so just, get change, some sleep gummies. just change the story. Walgreens only made sense when, when, when you had the discount. I miss it too, man. I'm at CVS struggling like this. Some bullshit. Walgreens <laughs> made more sense. Oh. They made a twelve pack of toilet paper for five dollars, and with the discount, I could get one toilet paper and one paper towel. With the discount, it only added up to six dollars and sixty cents. I missed that. I missed that. Shoot. I used to put that damn number in all the time until it, they, they called the name like, oh, how's how's your daughter? Yeah, she's good. They're like, hey, Kayla. I'm like, hey, whatever. Whatever you, whatever, whatever I got to say to make you feel more comfortable, you do that. Ooh, mm -hmm. They messed me up when they, um, so, uh, it'll be 1995. So hold on. Mm hmm. So they actually zip code. Yeah, 1995. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. okay, it's over. The dance is over. The yeah. lights are on. It's time to go home. You just walking out like free people are born. <laughs> 1995, sir. Kayla ain't here no more. Oh, it is. Hmm. Dang. Like, I don't walk. I don't walk. I I'd had to go to a different Walgreens. So the side, I had to go to the daggone Saddlebrook out this motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let me take this 15 minute drive instead of just two minute. Man, just readjust, man. Go to Walmart. Ah, man. I'm, Walmart sucks. I mean, Walmart. Walmart sucks. It'd it be, it be busy, man, man. Walmart sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Y'all, Walmart got food and shit? It does. Now, it I does. 
it, up north, it's terrible. We had food. We always had food here in Florida. Up north, they didn't have food. No, they they didn't. They didn't. But it, it's terrible. If I go by myself, you know, I get what I got to get. Maybe a line sometimes. If I go with the kids, oh, forget about it. They got a list. I got to walk around. Especially Natalia, she got a list. So what's on your list? Let me see it. No, I, I, I got it. <laughs> we walking back and forth. I'm like, and they don't, and they should show me the list. Like, oh, that's not on your list. Every time I leave here, it gotta be some hundred and fifty dollars of shit. All you went there for was nice. Man, I'm like, yo, like, oh, we gotta go to Walmart. I got, I got the list. Uh, why don't you go? Just like, yeah. Every time I keep forgetting to say, what well, you should go to Walmart with your mom, not me. You know, getting. You got the wallet. I don't got the wallet, man. She mom is the boss, right? She's the boss. The ladies are the boss. But you the bank. <laughs> they think it's like, especially Chrisette. Hey, can you buy me Robux? That's your mom. Oh. You should go in the room and, and bust a U turn real quick as if she went in there and then come sit down right next to me. Back, she, she didn't ask because she know the answer is no. The answer is no. Mm-hmm. From harassing me, eh, it is what it is. It is what it is. They get away. You treat you, you raise your girls different than you raise us, the, the boys. Mm-mm-mm. We've been on this daggone thing for an hour and six minutes. That's what's up. You know, this has been a this has been a good show. This has been a daggone good show. 